This is what sustainability in Singapore looks like. Solar panels on water and fish farming in the sky. This juxtaposition of two such innovations show how Singapore plans to reduce its carbon footprint and adapt to climate change. This is Tengi Reservoir Floating Solar Farm. With more than 120,000 solar panels, this joint project by National Water Agency PUB and energy firm Samcor covers a massive 45 hectares. So the reservoir is the other way to go to solarize Singapore. This is a 60 megawatt project and is about 4% of Singapore's 1.5 gigawatt target. This translates to a carbon emissions offset of 32 kilotons annually, equivalent to removing around 7,000 cars from the road. And the energy from these solar panels will go on to power the production of another scarce resource, especially here in Singapore, water. For PUB, this energy also is able to power all our five water works. So with this project, Singapore will be one of the few in the world to be 100% green in terms of water treatment. You've heard of vertical vegetable farming and community plots on rooftops. But the next frontier for urban farming in Singapore is this. Growing fish not in the sea, but in Apollo Aquaculture's eight-storey facility in Lim Chu Kang. Making a splash in one of these floating ponds are hybrid grouper and coral trout fry. With eight storeys of these ponds, they could potentially yield almost 2,700 tonnes of fish per year. That's six times more than Apollo's pilot three-tiered fish farm in the area. The way we farm is really uh, use less space because we can control all the, what we are farming. And, and also we find very safe in the sense that we don't need to use any antibiotic. And I think we, with this, we can really improve and uh, maximise the, the, the output. Short on space, but not on ideas. By breaking away from the conventional mold, Singapore is scaling new heights in its bid to tackle climate change. Audrey Tan, The Straits Times.